Good morning, my preschool friends. Happy Friday. It's Friday, May 15th. So let's ring our bell for circle time. Sing with me. Ring, ring, ring your bell so everybody hears. Time to gather round. Circle time is here. Alrighty, let's count our days. So May, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So Friday, May 15th. And our season is still spring. Alrighty, let's do our weather song and then we'll do our prayer. Look outside now, can you say what the weather's like today? Is there sunshine? Is there rain? Is wind blowing down the lane? Are there snowflakes falling down? Are there big clouds floating around? Look outside now, can you say what the weather's like? today. What's the weather at your house? Right now at my house it's a little cloudy but I think the sun's gonna come out today. So I'll put cloudy but then I'll put sunny because I'm hopeful that the sun will come out today. Alrighty my friends let's say our prayer. Our special friend is Mason. Mason. Mason that has Maddie as a big sister. That Mason. All right. So let's pray for all our friends and for Mason. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for my friends and thank you for Mason. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Alrighty. Um, today's work is two prayers. So it's a lot of coloring. It's the Our Father. I went ahead and colored mine. I colored these with colored pencils. So let's go ahead and say the Our Father together. And when you're done coloring yours, somebody could read it to you. Or maybe you already know it. So, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Right here it looks like this girl looks sad and maybe this girl is saying she's sorry to her. Sometimes we need to say sorry, right? And then if someone says sorry to us, it's nice to let them know that we accept their apology, right? Alrighty, and then our next prayer, I did this one with pen. This is the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So two great prayers for you to color and practice saying maybe with your adult. Okay, and then don't forget, you've got your book. Your very own book, so find a page, flip through, find a page that looks good. This one sure looks fun. The map man's doing all the different moves. So there's lots of choices in here. So find a page and do it slowly and carefully with your helping hand. Alrighty. Okay, let's sing the Days of the Week song. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, 
days of the week. So today is Friday, and that means yesterday, the day we already had, was Thursday. And then tomorrow, the next day, is Saturday. So those are days of the week, seven days of the week. Alrighty, I wanted to do um, some of our songs with Nancy Stewart on our felt board. I thought it would be fun to do the car one. Lots of cars. There are lots of cars driving down the street. So let's see, this says it's number five. Three, four, five. Alrighty. There are lots of cars driving down the street. Tell me what colored car do you see? I see a red car. Big cars, little cars, beep, beep, beep. There are lots of cars driving down the street. Tell me what colored car do you see? I see a yellow car. Yellow! Big cars, little cars, beep, beep, beep. There are lots of cars driving down the street. Tell me what colored car do you see? I see a blue car. Big cars, little cars, beep, beep, beep. There are lots of cars driving down the street. Tell me what color car do you see? I see a green car. Big cars, little cars, beep, beep, beep. There are lots of cars driving down the street. What color is the biggest car you see? Big car. I'm going to stop it there because we actually have a purple car too, don't we? So which car is our biggest car? Which color car is the biggest? Yellow, right? The yellow car is the biggest. And which color car is the smallest? The littlest. The blue car, right? The blue car. And let's see, what color car is the same color as grass? The green car? Good. And what color car is the same color as strawberries? The red car. Good job. Okay. Oh my gosh, speaking of good job, you guys, I have so much... Good news this week, so many crosses earned. Okay, so Elizabeth and Camilla, they shared their stickers with Victoria. So thank you, Elizabeth and Camilla. I wonder if they were birthday stickers, because remember they had their birthday. We saw them in the car, didn't we? Driving to Whidbey Island, that was fun. So thumbs up, Elizabeth and Camilla. Thanks for earning us crosses. Um, let's see, Rory did a great job using her words with her brother Chandler. That can be hard, right? Using words. Sometimes you just want to scream uh, or make just a sound or even hit. We can't do that, right? We need to use our words. So awesome job, Rory, using your words with Chandler. And Claire... Another great big sister, Claire, did a great job with Charlie all week, sharing her toys and playing with him, even teaching him some school things and reading to him. I saw a great picture of them, of Claire reading to Charlie. It looked like maybe it was a search and find book. So awesome job, Rory and Claire are good big sisters to brothers about the same age, right? And Isabel, we know what Isabel did. She cleaned that sink before they left to go to the blue house. So good job helping out Isabel. If everyone does a chore before you leave the house, you get to leave sooner, right? And she had her coat on, sunglasses ready to go. So good job, Isabel. And I wonder if Blue Bear goes to the blue house. Remember how Isabel 
likes to bring Blue Bear in. I bet Blue Bear might be in the blue house. And then Louisa, again, was at the end of our Zoom list, and she waits so, so patiently until it's her turn. And then it's, when it's her turn, she always has a smile, and she's ready to go. She's not grumbling and saying, ugh, finally. Right? So great job, Louisa, and everyone that's towards the end. We saw a lot of baby sharks, didn't we? A lot of baby sharks in our meeting. That is a popular one. All right, so great job, guys. We are getting to our pajama dance party. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Let's do this giant, big, red barn. Big red barn, Margaret Wise Brown. We love her books, don't we? By the big red barn, in the great green field, there was a pink pig who was learning to squeal. There was a great big horse and a very little horse. So great big horse, very little horse. And on every barn is a weather vane, of course, a golden flying horse. So here's a weather vane and it shows the different directions, north, south, west, and east. Tells you which way the wind is blowing, blowing. There was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay. And that is where the children play. Oh wow, that looks fun. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats were making funny noises down in their throats. An old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe and a field mouse was born in a field of corn. Aw, so teeny, can you see it? In the barn, there was a rooster and a pigeon, too. And a big white hen standing on one leg. And under the hen was a quiet egg. Remember when we did standing on one leg? Before we had our conferences, that was one thing that we were trying to work on, right? You guys were good at it. There was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen with a big clutch of eggs. Count them, there are 10. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cock-a-doodle-doo. You guys wanna do that? That's a fun sound. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Moo, moo. My doggy's looking at me when I say moo. There was a big brown cow and a little brown cow. There was an old black cat, meow, meow, and a tiger tomcat, meow, meow. There was a big red dog, bow wow, with some little puppy dogs all round and warm. And they all live together in the big red barn. And they played all day in the grass and in the hay. Can you hear the rhyming words on that page? And they played all day in the grass and in the hay. So day and hay sound the same at the end. 
When the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed, the little pig squealed. The horses stomped in the sweet warm hay, and the little donkey gave one last bray. The hens were sleeping on their nests, even the roosters took a rest. The little black bats flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. Does it look like the sun is going down because it's getting to be the end of the day? The animals are dark and the picture is getting darker, isn't it? And they were there all night long. Sound asleep. In the big red barn. We can hardly tell that it's a red barn at night. It's getting dark. Only the mice were left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay while the moon sailed high. In the dark night sky. You see the scarecrow? That is by the same author as I bet you could tell. Good night moon. I know you all know good night moon. Big red barn. Alrighty, let's do some of our finger plays. Let's try 10 fat peas. You need to get your peas ready. 10 fat peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Do up to the ceiling, down to the floor, left to the window, right to the door. This is my right hand, raise it up high. This is my left hand, reach for the sky. Right hand, left hand, twirl them around. Left hand, right hand, pound, pound, pound. What about I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Good job. Ooh, let's do our apples. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apple. Mmm, they were good. Good job, my friends. Okay, we are going to play a game. I'm going to write on the board a number, and I want to see if you can guess what the number is. Okay? So I'm going to write a number, and then I'm going to show it to you. i to write it really big. You know what that number is? Two. Let's try another one. What is this number? What is that number? It's made up of two digits, right? It's all the fingers on both your hands. Ten. All right. Let's see if we know this number. This is how old a lot of you are. What number is this? Four. And then some of you are already this number. Like one of our Masons and our friend Sarah. How old is this? What number is this? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Good job, my friends. We'll do that with letters next time.
Okay. Alrighty. I wanted to show you because Rory brought that neat bug collector for her sharing. We have this really fun new book, The First Big Book of Bugs. So I thought it would be fun to read a little bit from the bug book. It says, what is a bug? Bugs are animals. The word bug can mean any creepy crawly creature from a spider or worm to an insect such as a bee or a cricket. Animals include mammals, you are a mammal, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone. Bugs are invertebrates. So here they're showing a ladybug. We definitely saw one of those at school, didn't we? A spider, we've definitely seen those. Remember all the webs on our playground? And a worm. I think we've seen all three of those things at our school. Insects are the largest group of invertebrates. Most of this book is about insects. The last chapter is about other kinds of creepy crawlies. An insect usually has six legs that are jointed or can bend. Every insect has three main body parts. A head a thorax, and an abdomen. An insect has two antennae, body parts on its head that the insect uses to smell or feel, touch. Some insects even hear with them. Most adult insects have wings and can fly. So we'll read a little bit more of this next time, but I thought it was fun to think about because Rory is probably out collecting bugs. She says she brings them in to look at them, right? And then she lets them go, which is nice because they do belong outside, don't they? But we'll read more from this neat bug book. But that's something fun that a lot of you could do when you go on a walk is search for different bugs. Okay, I want to do one more song. I want to do Bluebird Through My Window. Bluebird through my window, and then we'll do our prayer dice, and then we'll sing our goodbye song. All right, let's see what number it is. Bluebird through my window. I think we've done this one one time. Bluebird through my window, number eight. Here we go. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, I'm tired. Night, night. Red night, bird, night, night. red bird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, I'm tired. Night, night. night, night. Yellow bird, yellow bird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, I'm tired. Night, night. Purple bird, purple bird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, I'm tired. Night, night. Alrighty, let's check our colors. So we have blue, red, yellow, and purple. Hi, my preschool friends. Mrs. Herrick asked me if I would like to read a story for you, and I said, yes. And then it was so nice over the weekend, I thought I would read you a story from The Frog and Toad Treasury, which was a favorite of my kids. You can tell it's a favorite because look what happens when I open the book. <laughs> but the story that I want to read you is called Ice Cream. I don't know if you know about Frog and Toad. One of them is nice, and one of them is a little grumpy. Let's see if you can figure out who the grumpy one is. One hot summer day, Frog and Toad sat by the pond. I wish we had some sweet, cold ice cream, said Frog. What a good idea, said Toad. Wait right here, Frog. I will be back soon. Toad went to the store. He bought two big ice cream cones. Toad licked one of the cones. Frog likes chocolate best, said Toad. And so do I. 
Remember, it's a hot day. Toad walked along the path. A large, soft drop of chocolate ice cream slipped down his arm. This ice cream is melting in the sun, said Toad. Toad walked faster. Many drops of melting ice cream flew through the air. They fell down on Toad's head. I must hurry back to Frog, he said. More and more of the ice cream was melting. It dripped down on Toad's jacket. It splattered on his pants and on his feet. Where is the path, cried Toad. I cannot see. Oh, my goodness. Frog sat by the pond waiting for Toad. A mouse ran by. I just saw something awful, cried the mouse. It was big and brown. Something covered with sticks and leaves is moving this way, cried a squirrel. Here comes a thing with horns, shouted a rabbit. Run for your life. What can it be, asked Frog. Frog hid behind a rock. He saw the thing coming. It was big and brown. It was covered with sticks and leaves. It had two horns. Who is it? Frog, cried the thing. Where are you? Good heavens, said Frog. That thing is Toad. Toad fell into the pond. He sank to the bottom and came up again. Drat, said Toad. All of our sweet, cold ice cream has washed away. Never mind, said Frog. I know what we can do. Frog and Toad quickly ran back to the store. Then they sat in the shade of a large tree and ate their chocolate ice cream cones together. The end. Thanks, friends. We'll see you on our Zoom call. Bye. All righty. Let's roll the dice and see what prayer we get. Rolling, rolling. Let me get a hard surface. And it landed on red. Red is. Oh, I bet a lot of you know this one. This is the one you say before you eat. Not at school, but I bet at home. So, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord, Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I bet that's familiar to a lot of you, so that's the red one. Let's see what we get next time. Okay, my friends, keep up the great work. That was so exciting that we had so many crosses earned this week. I'm so happy for you. All right, let's sing our goodbye song and then have a great weekend, and I will see you for our next school day, Monday. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Time to go. Time to go. Thank you, friends, for sharing. Thank you, friends, for caring. Love you so. Love you so. Bye-bye, my friends. See you Monday. Happy Saturday and Sunday.